So guys, here comes part two of our customs detective. Not much of a detective and not much of an action. Yesterday we were contemplating what sort of uh, things, facts could save the behind of uh, my American guy who sailed into the Green Channel and got apprehended by the customs. Well, today the judge was kind of listening to his uh, points to present and he, uh, his argumentation. Uh, the guy wasn't super talkative, but generally we presented the, uh, the general points, the main things that we wanted to. The jet lag, the absence of ill intention, the lawyer of ours, we got the lawyer. The uh, lawyer was asking for uh, lifting the penalty and limiting it only to uh, written uh, written notice, written warning and uh, no fine, but we got 20 base units of a fine and uh, the cap over 10,000 was confiscated for the benefit of the state. So the hospitals, the schools, the kindergartens will be improved for this money, so that's kind of good news. And, uh, and that's about it. This is one of the many cases that makes a perfect example of homework that was not done. Uh, the guy was aware of the declaration necessity. He probably didn't look into the depth of the process, somehow ignored the red channel or anything. I'm not sure what I would have done if I had uh, been there at 2.30 in the morning. We saw the chest camera, everything was quite kind of sweet, polite, and he openly said that he had over $10,000. So this all was unpacked, unearthed, counted, and basically processed. The customs digested the money and taking it out of the alligator's mouth is tricky. You know that from the National Geographic movies. So as talented and sweet as we are, unfortunately today we kind of lost. Although statistically we said that uh, we warned the client that 99% such cases resulted in the loss of the money. So another such case is coming with uh, the cap over 10,000 being 30,000. I guess the guy is gonna be keen to present his position as well to get me and the lawyer into the courtroom so let's see what happens and then again if you have any issues if you need some ground assistance here in belarus i'm your real estate concierge potentially and a certified translator uh, thank you for your donations by the way patreon guys are very very helpful keeping the channel going cheers from minsk see you later